is for and the world deliverer them. Let your world deliver us this morning in the name of Jesus. Let your world guide our footsteps this morning in the name of Jesus. For we pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Almighty God this morning for giving us the opportunity to stand before Him and share the Word of God. Uh, the Word of God is powerful and there's the soft problems, soft mystery. It blesses us. I pray the Lord, the Word will bless us this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, let us be attentive. No distraction. Let your mind be here. To be able to be blessed. You will see from this message this morning. Hallelujah. We are speaking on joy comment in the morning. Joy comment in the morning. We know that the life we are in is full of ups and downs. The life is full of mystery and pain in the world and sadness in the world there's failure in the world there's calamity in the world we are living to the extent that some people we always want to call them quits some will be nursing suicide some will even commit suicide some will end their life appropriately Hallelujah. When they are unable to go again. But here is the word in the book of Psalm, chapter 30, verse 5. Psalm 30, verse 5. That is it for his anger and joy for a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This is a great war from the Almighty God to all of us who are passing through one difficulty or the other. And God is giving us hope. God is saying that it's with us. When we are in trouble, when we are in problem, God knows our problems and is ready to help. I will say, it is ready to help in trouble. God is not far away from us. God is near us and ready to support us in whatever circumstances in which we are in. Hallelujah. Different people with different problems. Our problems are different. Our circumstances are different. What Mr. A is passing through is better than what Mr. B is passing through. But they are all same problem, same problem. And the only solution to all those problems is God. Because God is the creator of the heaven and the heart. I will say he created good and created bad. God has created evil and good. He knows how to handle evil of our lives. He knows how to navigate us out of our troubles. Our knowledge is not enough. Our wisdom is not enough to solve our problem because they are mystery at times. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people are like sugar cane. Which is very sweet when you taste it. Their life is always rosy. They always enjoy things early. They enjoy something. They enjoy fame. Whatever they lay their hand upon, they succeed without any sweat. Hallelujah. Without any sweat. Some people are, have the privilege and grace like that. Amen. But some are like bitter leaf. They are bitter. Their life is always bitter. They find it difficult to succeed. 
they endure pains, they endure frustrations, failure, and bound in their life. Hallelujah. The people that we compare us to their cave, their life may not end well at times. Some of them they die early. <coughs> Some of them they fall into trouble in which they may not be able to solve. And because they didn't have experience of evil, they didn't have experience of pain, the problem will be too much for them to bear. And the problem will weigh them down and they will end their own life. They will remain frustrated. They may get depressed and they will not enjoy life at the end of their life. Hallelujah. But some people that are bitterly, when they pass through fire, when they pass through hell, their life turns to joy. Just like we always eat. Peter Lee, when he's well treated, it ends in sweetness. We enjoy it when we eat it. When we remove bitterness out of it, it ends in joy. So many lives are like that. They have to pass through fire, they have to pass through tribulations. And then the day, it becomes very, very sweet in the mouth. <coughs> Joseph's life was like that. Right from the youthful age, he has had opposition. He had enemy among his brethren. He hated him. He wanted to kill him, but God protected him. He was sold. Hallelujah. He was sold. He was in prison. From prison, he was made the prime minister. He passed through hell, passed through fire. But at the end of the day, he was victorious. Hallelujah. He was victorious, he was lifted, he was blessed. So when morning and joy for a night, joy will always come in the morning. When we are written, the God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there are different types of people in the world. The Sugar cane life and bitter leaf life. Anyone you fall into, you must be very, very careful. If your life is like a sugar cane, you are blessed. Everything is going on with you. You are fruitful. You are blessed. Always know that evil is always mixed with joy. You must be very, very careful. Don't uh, <coughs> don't think that it will continue to go like that. Don't make jests of people around you that are not making you like like you. Don't make jests of people that are not succeeding like you. <coughs> Hallelujah. Some we have struggle, we struggle in marriage. Some we struggle in education. You may have an excellent marriage. You may have an excellent career that is going on with you. Don't make jest of people that are angry, that are failing. Hallelujah. Because God will also answer their prayer one day. And don't neglect God in the midst of your success. Amen. Because evil is always around to attack. And when the evil comes, know how to navigate, know how to deal with any type of evil that around you. Hallelujah. But if you neglect God at the time of your journey, you will regret it later in life. Amen. Ahithophel was a blessed person. He was blessed. Whatever he said, whatever he said, 
always come to pass. He was right man of David. He was famous in that kingdom. But one day, he joined the enemy of David. And they began to offer the prayer. Where the wisdom of Adjifel turned into foolishness. Amen. And at the time, he advised the enemy of uh, David, and the advice was rejected. Another man's advice was taken. By so doing, he went to commit suicide. That's the second Samuel chapter 17 and 23. And when the Idol know that his cancer was not accepted, he went to and he committed, he found himself, committed suicide. There is somebody that just had a single problem, a small problem, and he could not go with that problem that see me, I'm a famous human being. When I say something, it will come to pass, and someone in the next is just rejecting my advice, and he ended his own life. Hallelujah. So in the midst of joy, evil is always crept in. And when evil crept in, many people may not be able to endure it. We have many people that are rich in the past, but today they are beggars. Amen. We have prominent people, politicians, who have great names for themselves. But today, they are no longer to be found today. They are no longer like the past. They don't have money. Some are even beggars today. Hallelujah. We have strong men in the past. Strong men, strong women. In the past, healthy. But today, they are sick. They are sick men. Amen. Amen. Such is life. And if you are bitterly tired, Know that you need God to change your life. You need God to work on you to bring sweetness out of your life. Hallelujah. Both two human beings must be very, very careful how we handle our life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Joy will always come in the morning. I will say, those that sow in tears shall reap in joy. That's Psalm 136, verse 5. Those that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Hallelujah. Amen. That sickness that you are passing through will not kill you. If you have killed somebody in the past, say, it will not kill me. My sickness will not kill me. That pain will be relieved. The pain you are passing through will be relieved without uh, further delay in the name of Jesus. The paradise you are experiencing will turn to fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Say, my paradise will turn to fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. That is the will of God. That is the promise of God for our lives. Whatever that we are looking for, whatever we are seeking, when we know, we will receive. So if you have a little time, always move closer to God. Always be prayerful. Always have faith in the Lord. Praise the Lord. We must not be hope. We must be hopeful for a good time, for a fruitful time to come to us. Hallelujah. And now was somebody that experienced sorrow in her life. He was barren. Amen. He was even challenging the husband, like, give me what, give me a child. Give me a child. The husband said, I'm not a God, I will give you a child. Praise the Lord. He was frustrated by his maid. His maid always make, 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 make guests of him. He was always frustrating, frustrating him. Hallelujah. Amen. She cried all day 
you know, when we cry, or when we sorrowful, I will not eat anything. Hallelujah. But Anna did something differently at the point. He did something differently. He always went to Silo. One way to Silo every, every year. But at the particular year, he went, she went with determination. She went with the purpose that this will be the last time that I'm going to be sorrowful. She went with determination. She went with the purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. Once she did defend me with that determination of heart, and she forgot with God, I said, he didn't wait for any man of God to come and pray for him. As at that time, nobody used to pray to God directly. They would go to priests. It's the priests that will carry their sacrifice to God and bring them message. But if you find that, she went directly to God in the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 12. Praise the Lord. She talked to God and said, that I'm a sorrowful woman. If you can give me a child, I will give him back to you. He also made pledge to make a vow unto God, to vow unto God, that when you give me this child, I'm going to give you back. Praise the Lord. After the man of God came and confirmed her prayer, he was cheerful. He was no longer crying. Was no longer in sorrow. Bible said he hurt. <coughs> Praise the Lord. She knew that her prayer had been answered. He started celebrating. You will celebrate in the name of Jesus. I think you will celebrate in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He didn't confront her husband again. Confronted God directly. Amen. It's God that can solve our problem, not woman being. That is why we must not rely on pastor. We must not rely on human being. We must not rely on faith, on money, on power of the devil, on that of God. Hallelujah. Amen. One pastor shared a testimony. After she prayed, after he preached powerfully on faith, and when you have faith, anything can happen. After that sermon, one woman went to go and meet him. Praise the Lord. The man of God, I believe in your prayer. And I believe in God for a child. But I don't have room. My room has been removed. Praise the Lord. But I believe your prayer. The man of God will be casted. Praise the Lord. The man said, the man, whenever she sees the man, he always, he always run from her. Praise the Lord. He always run from her. Say, ah. If you have one, that would be possible. But since you don't have one, how possible would that be? The man of God was even doubting uh, his prayer, his uh, sermon. But as God will have it, the man believed. And the woman was pregnant, and she had, had a child. It didn't depend on the man of God. Amen. It didn't depend on the man of God. It, depend, it depended on God that the man preached and he had a miracle. Praise the Lord. Let us depend on God Almighty. Never situation we are passing through, it will not last. Morning may enjoy for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Praise the Lord. No matter what, that scripture will change. That scripture will change. You are going to move forward. You are not going to be in perpetual pain. You are not going to be crying. Amen. God will supply all those needs that you request from God. God will supply them to you in the name of Jesus. Many of us, God is training us how to be faithful, how to be waiting, how to depend on Him. That is what God is lesson 
God is teaching us. Hallelujah. God is teaching us something. And we must learn from that teaching. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want our faith to be strong. We want us to be powerful before we release that blessing upon our life. When God releases blessing prematurely, we will not be able to cope with such blessings. If the Lord lift us up prematurely, we may not be able to, to cope with such breakthroughs at times. Many people have messed up in such circumstances. When they get to the position, they will not know how to leave that position. They will mess up and they will lose that opportunity. Some people have blessed in the past, but when the money comes, they become arrogant and they spend the money lavishly, praise the Lord, and they mess up. Some people will destroy their own life when the money comes to them, praise the Lord, with that maturity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With that maturity. God wants us to mature before He will do something thankful for us. So let us grow in the Lord. When I was seeking admission, I used to say this every time. When I was seeking admission into university, my plan A was to join the K guys. I like them very well. I like their song. When I get to university, I will join the K guys. Hallelujah. But the admission was delayed. I didn't get admission at the time when I was seeking that admission. By the time I would get admission, I would become a Christian. I would become mature as a Christian. Praise the Lord. And I could not join such organization again. Amen. If the Lord has given me admission at the time when I wanted it, I would have missed my step. Who knows where I will be today? Praise the Lord. But God delayed it. For me to go on again, for me to be mature as a Christian, to take a good decision of life. Hallelujah. Maybe that's the reason why things are not yet open for you. You have to get mature as a Christian. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, in fact, we must do. We want our money to come to jail. We must always confess positively. We must always confess positively, whatever you want. Don't dwell in your pain. Don't say something negative to yourself. Always say something positive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are poor, then you are blessed. If you are sick, say you are strong. Hallelujah. Say you are strong. Hallelujah. Say, it is good for me all this. I will overcome this problem. I will advance. I will get to my Canaan land. I will fulfill my destiny. No more pain in my body. No more failure. I will succeed. I will pass my examination. I will pass this interview. Let our let's be speaking positively. I'm no longer sick. I'm no longer a parent. I'm fruitful by the special grace of God. Amen. When we need to say something positive, things will turn around for road for good. It becomes permanent in our life. Amen. When we say something negative, then we will strengthen it. Then we will sanction it. And we make sure that that thing becomes fulfilled in our lives. Hallelujah. They made the experiments in a place. One man got to job, very charming, very happy. And begin to, people begin to talk to him. Ah, Mr. Man, how do you look like, this one? You are not charming, you are not happy. How do you try this one? Another one will come. They begin to say negative things against him. Praise the Lord. And suddenly she was depressed. She lost the joy he had in that moment. Praise the Lord. He believed what they were saying to him. 
They believe that they believe all their words they are telling that time. You are so dejected. You are not beautiful again. You are so mean. You are so this and that. And that thing enter into his head. And he believed them. Praise the Lord. And he lost joy. Praise the Lord. When they are saying negative things against you, turn it to positive. Don't let any man determine your joy. Don't let anybody put you to trouble that uh, you are not beautiful, you are not good, you are not you are bad. Hallelujah. Say something positive to yourself. Believe in yourself. Hallelujah. God wants us to be strong. Amen. He created us as a strong person. That we should have dominion over all the things that He created. Nothing should overcome us. Even problem should not overcome us. It should overcome problems. It should rule over problem and calamity. Amen. He didn't create us for problem to overcome us. He didn't create problem to, to rule over us. We should rule over problem. We should rule over failure. Hallelujah. We must always be positive in our thinking, in our God, and we should be confessing good things to ourselves. Hallelujah. And we must always stay in faith. We must stay in faith. Faith in the Lord. Faith in His promise. All the promises of God must have faith in them. Hallelujah. If you don't have faith, it is impossible to please Him. Nothing will happen if you don't have faith in God. Miracle will not happen if you don't have faith in God. Nothing will change if you don't have faith in God. But when you have a strong faith, your condition will change. Your life will change positively. Hallelujah. And that particular money will turn to joy. That is the will of God for our life. Praise the Lord. Send Jesus Christ to the world to die for us so that we will be happy, so that we will win the war, so that we will win the race, so that we will be out of problem, so that we are out of trouble. Hallelujah. 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 God has changed many lives in this contemporary life. God has transformed lives of many people and we have good testimony. From the Lord, we are to testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our money will turn to joy in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will lift us above all our adversity, all our problems in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us rise up on our feet and let us pray. Let's pray that Lord turn my money into joy. Solve my problem. Any problem you are passing through. Come to God this morning that this problem will stop in your life and the Lord will restore your joy back to you. Open your mind and begin to pray. Prayer. Lord Almighty, turn our money into joy. Let a time of refreshing let it come from you in the name of Jesus. Let the time of refreshing come from you in the name of Jesus. Let us be blessed this morning. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you this morning. We give praise unto your name and send our praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are praying that you turn our morning into joy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the time of refreshing come from you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Meet our needs in the name of Jesus. Amen. Change our status in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us be blessed abundantly in the name of Jesus. Those who that are sick, I pray that the Lord will heal you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. People that are barren, I command fruitfulness into your life in the name of Jesus. We bear your children in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. People that are failing, we are going to pass and succeed in life in the name of Jesus. You will not die. He shall be well with you. So shall it be in Jesus' name we are praying. Believe me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.